balanced and unbalanced forces <coughs> let us assume that suppose uh, here is a table and uh, I am applying some force on it suppose I am applying 10 Newton force on it and at the same time uh, let's assume that one of my friend is applying 10 newton force in opposite direction like this so now if I would as just simply I would assume that uh, my coordinate axis are something uh, like this like this now you can see like this is my this is the force which I did apply on this table which is going along positive x-axis direction here is a positive x-axis direction and here is a negative x-axis direction the direction is negative x-axis so as we know that when we have parallel or anti-parallel forces we would just use uh, algebraic method to find out their resultant force so their resultant force would be my force uh, okay resultant force is okay let me write it like the resultant force is my force is going along positive x-axis direction so it would be plus 10 and my friend is applying 10 force 10 newton force along negative x-axis direction so that's why it would be negative so the answer is 0 newtons ok when when resultant force is 0 newtons when resultant force is 0 newtons then we would simply say this force is balanced by this force when resultant force is 0 newton we would simply say that this force one force is balanced by other force this is called balanced force okay by Newton's second law we know that F equals M A and when force is 0 then it means M times A is 0 so M times A is 0 you can say that okay actually this table has some mass so it means its mass is not zero here actually zero will be the result when one of them would be zero M like the mass of the table is not zero so that's why mass is not zero so I'm gonna put minus he across here it means acceleration is zero mass is not zero but acceleration is zero so let's move here when acceleration of the object is zero then we know that there are two possibilities 
when acceleration of the object is zero then we have two possibilities like uh, first possibility uh, like uh, first possibility is either the object is in state of rest like when object is in state of rest its velocity would be zero when velocity is zero it means its acceleration is zero it means either object is in state of rest this is one possibility and second possibility is either object is moving with constant velo either the velocity of the object is constant okay sorry when the velocity of the object is constant the acceleration is zero okay this is our second possibility so we we will continuously use these basic understandings in our coming course okay when acceleration of the object is zero then either the velocity of the object is constant or object is in state of rest it means either velocity is zero or velocity is uh, velocity is zero or velocity is constant So now what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is like uh, when two or more than two forces are acting in such a way in such a way that their result like that their total sum is zero. Resultant our total sum is zero. Then it would be uh, like such type of forces would be considered as balanced forces when we have balanced forces we have seen that mass is not zero like the object will have some mass its acceleration would be zero like you you can see uh, like suppose uh, i can say if my answer is zero like it can be 10 times 0 it can be 100 times 0 like like any number when it is multiplied by 0 will give you 0 like there is no other option in which two numbers are multiplied and you will get 0 the only option is when one of the number is 0 or the second number may be anyone similarly we, we can say like the mass is not 0 but acceleration is zero when acceleration is zero we have two possibilities either the object is in state of rest when object is in state of rest we know that velocity of the object would be zero resting object will have velocity zero okay second option is if the object is moving with constant velocity constant velocity means in that case change in velocity is zero change in velocity are uh, in that particular case uh, I can say again velocity would be zero but I'm gonna put the change sign here okay change we can write like this so change in velocity is zero one case is when velocity is zero and the second case is when change in velocity is zero okay now let's move to another case which is unbalanced forces now you can easily understand or estimate what is unbalanced force okay
Okay. Same example. Suppose you have a table, like I have a table, and I applied, I did apply uh, 10 newton force in this direction, but my friend is applying uh, 8 newton forces in this direction. My force is 10 newtons, and my friend is. Uh, applying 8 newtons which is in this direction so now you can see we have parallel or anti-parallel forces we know that when we have parallel or anti-parallel forces we can simply find their resultant force by algebraic sum so my force is going along positive x-axis direction so I'm gonna put plus sign here and my friend is applying in along negative x-axis direction so I'm gonna put negative sign there so what is the resultant when resultant like in this case we have a resultant of 2 newton force so 2 newton force and it is positive like you can say a uh, my force uh, like uh, the table will 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 start moving along my like th along the direction of my force like my force is going along this direction so ob the table will drag like this okay my force is actually dominant force so that's why the object will drag along positive x-axis direction so that's why there is a positive sign okay now in this case you can see acceleration uh, like uh, like uh, force is not zero it means acceleration is not zero uh, when acceleration is not zero it means like uh, the object velocity is like the object the velocity of the object is increasing with the passage of time like uh, like let's see we know that by newton's second law f equals m times a m times a it means uh, when force is not zero suppose like there is there is some value of force it means mass is already non zero it means acceleration will have some value suppose uh, acceleration f value some x y c some number let's put 2 suppose acceleration is 2 acceleration is 2 plus 2 it means in every sec every second there is an increase in velocity of plus 2 if acceleration is minus so uh, let's uh, assume that acceleration is minus 2 meter per second square it means with every second there is a decrease in velocity like uh, with uh, decrease in velocity with an amount of 2 meter per second square so when we have balanced forces there would be there would either the object is in rest there is no increase in velocity if object is in state of motion there would be no increase in velocity or decrease in velocity that is the case of balanced forces in case of unbalanced force there is an increase in like uh, uh, like unbalanced forces the resultant force would not be zero when resultant force is not zero it means ex there is some value of acceleration and when we have some value of acceleration if it is positive then it means there is an increase in velocity like uh, every second there would be an increase in velocity and if it is negative positive to means like uh <coughs> every second there is an increase in velocity positive means 
there is an increase in velocity similarly negative means there would be a decrease in velocity okay 